how McDonald's has turned the fast food industry upside down. Even though I often get confused with the difference between McChicken and Chicken Mac, I always know for sure that I want to stop at McDonald's whenever I want to get some burgers. I am sure most of you would have the same feeling towards McDonald's, but how do they never fail to win our hearts? Why are we so obsessed with McDonald's? Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Startup Bits. Today, we will get to know everything about McDonald's and how some of their facts can literally blow your mind. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Did it ever strike you that McDonald's was someone's actual name? Well, it was actually. For that to know, let's go all the way back to 1940 when the brothers Maurice and Richard McDonald opened the restaurant for the first time in San Bernardino, California. At first, the idea was only concise to make it a drive-in that offered a wide selection of items. But, of course, the increasing number of customers forced the brothers to enlarge their venture. But only increasing the size and number of employees was not the solution here. They had to do something new. Well, in 1948, they renovated the restaurant. Now, the business model was to produce huge quantities of food at low prices. The business model was so successful that in 2017, it was said that a new McDonald's opens every 14 hours. Anyways, let's go back to 1948, when McDonald's only featured hamburgers, potato chips, drinks, and pie. They named their system of serving their customers the Speedy Service System. And, I mean, this is true. They literally take seconds now to cook your meal. They do take a little time with the chicken pieces, though. You need to work on it, McDonald's. So, these innovations allowed the brothers to charge just 15 cents for a basic hamburger, which was about half the price of the other restaurants offering hamburgers. The brothers sold high quality at cheap prices and people loved it. The success was too much to handle that the brothers began a franchise program. Such huge businesses never remain unnoticed from the successful businessmen of the world. Oh, and just by the way, do you know that Bill Gates gets free food at McDonald's? Not because he made windows, but because he owns a gold card. Well, the Bill Gates of the 50s, Mr. Ray Kroc, got really surprised when he saw that eight of the large milkshake machines were being used in a single location, and that too, so efficiently. He had the eye to see potential in the business of the brothers, and he became a franchise agent for the brothers. In April 1955, Kroc launched McDonald's Corporation in Illinois. He also opened the first McDonald's franchise in Illinois. Kroc was a businessman who knew business more than most people back in the day. He literally bought out the McDonald's brothers in 1961. He had the vision to open as many McDonald's outlets as possible, but for that, he had to keep up the quality. He made a program known as the Hamburger University to train the franchisees. He eventually changed the format of the restaurants. The modern McDonald's that we are familiar with, like the counter staff to take orders and drive throughs they were all Kroc's ideas. The sales went sky high. According to some reports, more people eat at McDonald's each day than the entire population of the UK. And if that is intriguing for you to know how much they earn in a day, well, you will have to watch the video till the end for that. Apart from the counter staff and drive throughs there was something else which made them everyone's favorite, and that was the Big Mac. They added Big Mac to their national menu in 1968, and it went on to become the company's top-selling item after French fries. They also introduced a clown to define their brand, and they named it Ronald McDonald. Some of us have our childhood pictures with him, but Mr. Ronald faces a lot of criticism, and he eventually faded away from the company's brand. Anyways, by the early 21st century, there were around 34,000 outlets operating in more than 115 countries. And because of that, they became the world's largest toy distributor company. I mean, who doesn't love Happy Meals? The taste, the toy, the joy, unmatched. Such huge businesses never survive without facing the criticism. McDonald's was criticized for being responsible for making people fat through their food. There was even a popular documentary named Super Size Me back in 2004, in which the filmmaker saw his health drastically decline while on a diet of only McDonald's foods. McDonald's responded to the criticism by adding healthy items to its menu, and it began developing a vegan hamburger like the McVegan, PLT, and McPlant. But the documentary did make some of the customers angry, but it did not leave a huge impact on the reputation of McDonald's. Once, there was also an issue of very low wages in McDonald's. The term McJob was even added to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, which meant low-paying job. But that issue was soon resolved as nobody ever heard of that afterwards. Today, McDonald's earns over $750,000 a day. 
This insane amount of money makes the company worth more than $202 billion. We love McDonald's for its burgers, and probably the stakeholders also have more reasons to love McDonald's. Well, that was it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and press that bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.